to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this eye look right here. I basically focused on the eyes and on the lips and how the pink and gold tied in together with both the lipstick and the eyeshadow. So yeah, if you like this look and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I've already done my base makeup. I've done everything else except for my eyes and my lips. And can I just say... I always do my base makeup so much better when I'm off camera than when I'm on. When I'm on camera, I feel like I don't do it well enough. But today I actually tried to cream contour and it's not my first time but it's definitely the first time that I've done it kind of right. I only did some on my forehead, on my cheekbones and on my jawline. I didn't do my nose because I'm too scared for that but I feel like maybe I can do it. I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. So yeah, as you guys can see from the title, it's going to be a pink and gold dual chrome cut crease, which is a long name, it reminds me of like robots or something. But anyways, let's just get into the eyes. For the eyes, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, and mine is still so clean because I keep it in the box. So for the first shade, which is going to be our main transitional transition shade, I'm going to be going into this shade right here called Pooter. And I'm taking that with this big fluffy blending brush. Just going to put that all over the crease, starting from the outer corner, building it in. Okay, now that we have our transition color on, I'm going to go into the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. And I'm going to be using this light pink shade right here. I'm going in with that with the Morphe M433 blending brush. And I'm going to be applying that more concentrated into the crease. I'm not going to blow it out too much. Keeping it really precise in the crease. To be honest, I don't really like this brush. I know that a lot of people love this specific... Oh, I know that a lot of... I know that a lot of people love this brush specifically, the M433. But it sheds on me and it's actually pretty rough. I prefer my e.l.f. brushes which are like... $3, the black ones. I mean, this brush does do the job, but it's just not something that I would recommend. Going back with the brush that we used for Pooter, I'm just going to blend everything out again with no additional product on the, uh, on the brush, making sure that everything is just tying in together. And then taking the shade right here called, they don't have names, never mind. Um, this dark pink shade right here, I'm going to put that on the outer corners. For that, I'm using this e.l.f. crease brush. I love this for the outer corner. And you know how to forget. I'm just doing these zigzag motions like this on the outer corner. And I'm not pressing too hard or I'm not blending too hard because I want the color to be really nice and diffused on the outer corner of the lid. All the wrongs and, every reason. and then again with the same fluffy brush, I'm just rounding out the edges and making sure everything's blended. Okay, now for the fun part, I'm actually going to cut my crease and for that I'm using concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to take some on this flat shader brush from Morphe. Okay, so I just took some concealer on the shader brush and I'm slowly going to carve out the crease. Once you get to two-thirds of the crease, just stop there and then fill in the inner part of where you mapped out your cut crease. And to make it look more seamless on the edge, just pat over the concealer, but don't drag it out too much, just pat over it and kind of diffuse it a bit. So 
that when you blend it's easier. So as you guys can see, I dragged out the concealer too much when I was trying to blend it out. But that's okay, we can cover it up with some more shadow later. Okay, so now that we have both creases cut, I'm going back in with the Jaclyn palette. And I'm using this shade right here. This is the star of the show. This is in the shade Sissy. Okay, so I'm just going to pack that shade onto the cut crease where we put the concealer with the same brush which we used to cut the crease. So this shade is actually a dual chrome. It's a pink and gold. From what I know, this is 50% gold and 50% pink. I'm just packing that onto the lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my finger because packing it on takes too long and with your finger you get much better payoff. So taking some on my finger, I'm just going to pat it on. See the difference with the brush a while ago and the finger now? But I'm making sure to stay away from the edges because that's when I'm going to use a brush. I'm also going to stamp it onto the outer edge. And then now I'm going to go in with the brush to be more precise with the edges. I'm packing it on there. With cut creases, you really need a lot of patience because aside from the actual cutting of the crease or the concealer or foundation or whatever, it also takes a lot of time to carve out the edges, in my opinion, in my experience. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the lower lash line and using this Etude House, Etude House brush. This is the brush 310 Eye Base. I'm going to go in with Puder from the Jaclyn palette and I'm smoking out the lower lash line. the Kathleen Lights palette, I'm gonna mix this shade and this shade right here, the two pink shades that we used a while ago, and then again I'm using those two to smoke out the lower lash line. And then for the brow bone highlight, I'm actually using this highlight shade right here. It's just a basic highlight shade. I'm taking that on the brow bone to make the brows pop even more. And then for the inner corner, I was actually planning on doing something like this as well. But I feel like I want to be more fun with the look. I mean, it's already fun, but I want it to be even more bold. So I'm going to take this shade right here. This one is just a nice, kind of subtle gold. Taking that on the inner corner. Now I'm just applying eyeliner on my waterline. I'm just using my usual Chanel. Now I'm going to do some winged liner and for that I'm using my NYC liquid liner. Okay, so I actually forgot to put more eyeshadow here in the outer corner to blend it out. So I think I'll do that after I let the eyeliner dry. Okay, so using the same e.l.f. crease brush and the dark pink from the Kathleen Lights palette, I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner, again with my zigzag diffusing motion. So I just did my winged liner and lashes off camera. I am really, really loving the eyes. I actually filmed the winged liner perfectly on camera. But then it cut off because I didn't have enough space in my card. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the lips. So this whole look basically revolves around the eyes and the matching lip. So both the eyes and the lips are a pink and gold dual chrome. The shade that I'm using today is from Colourpop. It's their Ultra Metallic Lip in the shade Flitter. I would recommend using a lip liner underneath this lipstick. I did need to do two layers. It's kind of sheer, but it's still really, really pretty. So yeah, guys, basically that's the look done. I really love how the eyes tie in together with the lips. This isn't something that I would wear every day, but it's such a beautiful, fun look to try out. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!